Losing a loved one is an emotional and life-changing experience. You might be tasked with the responsibility of settling the estate while grieving your loss. It can be a challenging time in anyone's life. However, it becomes complicated when you must go through probate for an out-of-state property. Many people move to various states throughout their lifetime. Updates to the will, trust, and other documents are necessary when that happens. The changes need to reflect the laws in those particular states and the correct procedures for estate planning. Out-of-state probate can be confusing to navigate alone. It may be crucial to hire an estate planning lawyer so you understand the steps you must take. You need legal guidance to ensure you and your loved one's beneficiaries receive all the assets left behind. What is probate? The probate process starts when someone passes away and the court needs to review and validate their will. Once a probate judge determines the estate is valid and the will was executed correctly, the appointed executor or administrator can proceed with paying the owed debts, transferring assets to the named beneficiaries, and managing the other aspects of closing an estate. Probate laws differ depending on the state where the assets are held. Even if you and the deceased lived in the same state, They might have the property elsewhere, leaving you with multiple probate cases to handle. While the process for administrating their estate where you reside may be straightforward, probate in another state could be more complex. Entering a will that includes assets from another state into probate requires what's called ancillary probate. Ancillary probate is when probate occurs in multiple jurisdictions. Probate is required in each state where the deceased owned property. The probate judge in one state has no legal jurisdiction over assets in another state. That's why separate probate proceedings must co- That's why separate probate procedures must coincide. It doesn't matter where the decedent lived at the time of their death. The state where the assets are located physically determines the type of probate surviving family must undergo. They are required to enter probate according to the specific laws of the state. Now, you could avoid ancillary probate if you discuss the challenge with your loved one. They might have told you about their estate plan and property they plan to leave you. If there are different assets in multiple states, you should consider asking them to transfer them to one state or possibly into a trust so you don't face several probate cases at once. If you have to go through out-of-state probate, you should understand how it works. The executor of the probate proceeding will initiate an ancillary probate process for out-of-state property upon entering the will into probate in the deceased state of residence. The courts will typically cooperate when an estate plan involves property in multiple states. Some states accept out-of-state more readily than others. Additionally, Ancillary courts will often accept authorization the executor receives from the original probate court, so the executor can avoid applying for additional authorization.